NATO initiatives that include the alliance purchasing a fleet of surveillance drones, sharing weapons and training facilities, and sustaining nuclear deterrence in Europe, even as disarmament efforts continue with an often belligerent Russia, according to senior administration officials. So basically, this whole article is about how the US is handing over the baton of military power to NATO. So we see more you know, humanitarian invasions carried out to a greater precision around the world. And of course, now the Secretary of Defense, Leon Panetta, has reaffirmed the fact, as we highlighted last week, that the White House now sees NATO and the UN as its boss rather than the actual United States Congress. It all makes perfect sense. So again, it's about this shift of uh, US military dominance and shifting it over to UN NATO, so it's in the hands of the international community, so they can have more of their humanitarian uh, bloodletting invasions with uh, no opposition from Congress, because all the power will have shifted to NATO and to the global government. Protesters and police clash at NATO meeting, two held on terrorism charges. Uh, they made Molotov cocktails, major act of terror. Protesters at the NATO summit meeting clash with the Chicago police officers tried to disperse thousands of people who had gathered several blocks from the site of the meeting and refused demands to leave. And here's another one out of The Guardian. Welcome NATO to Chicago's police state. With NATO delegates arriving Saturday night, the city of Chicago has been turned into a police state, courtesy of Mayor Rahm Emanuel, who severely, who several months ago began implementing new draconian anti-protest measures. Chicago has gone on security lockdown and of course that meeting ends today so massive police state again it's a police state showcase there in chicago it's about um, training people that they have to get permission from the government to sit in a free speech pen about two miles away from where anything's happening and if they try and uh, you know horror of horrors express their god-given first amendment rights then they will be treated accordingly it's about sending out the message to onlookers and other people watching on global television do not protest it is now an act of terrorism which of course is how the department of defense now defines protest so you know all the more reason to join the occupy bilderberg protest where the crackdown will be uh, noticeably less severe because bilderberg don't want any attention and as the uh, attendees at bilderberg this year in chantilly are going to be broadly similar to the nato summit you know, NATO is going to have a presence. So if you want to protest the global elite, but you don't want to get your head caved in by the loving cops, then I would suggest that you join the burgeoning Occupy Bilderberg movement, uh, which is set to take place, of course, at the end of this month, 31st of May. And on that very subject, Bilderberg agenda attracts national exposure. The secretive Bilderberg group's agenda for its 2012 meeting has attracted national attention with an article by veteran political journalist Ken Vogel exploring charges that the organization is set to play a decisive role in the upcoming U.S. presidential election. And basically, the nub of this article focuses on our piece from back in April, where uh, we picked up on the fact that the Washington Post had more than suggested that Bilderberg uh, would have a hand in picking Romney's VP, which looks to be Marco Rubio. He seems to be the choice. So basically, in this article, Vogel talks to Romney's advisors, who, of course, being Bilderberg attendees themselves, uh, sworn to secrecy, they deny the organization wields any power. They say, oh, you know, people get together at a nice hotel, have a nice dinner, and then go home, and that's it. Of course, we've manifestly proven that to be complete nonsense over and over again. The Bilderberg Group sets the consensus for policy, which its ad attendees then agree to carry out in their respective spheres of influence. And that's not me saying that. That was former NATO Secretary General Willie Clays, who admitted it in a 2010 radio interview. He was an attendee. He said, we go there, we create a consensus, we get our orders, we take them back, we implement them. Again, just a game of golf and a nice dinner in a nice hotel. So... You know, Occupy Bilderberg, again, shaping up to be uh, the biggest protest ever. I saw on Facebook 800 people had uh, completely committed to going. Another 500 were maybe. Those numbers are up now probably past 1,000. You've got people who don't even use Facebook that are going to be going. So given the fact that there were around, you know, 
what, two, three hundred in Switzerland, halfway up a mountain last year in the middle of nowhere. Chantilly, Virginia, I expect to be the biggest protest against Bilderberg ever, um, which is delightful indeed, given the fact that a few years ago we got the leak out of Bilderberg, which is the fact that they hate people even having the financial means to travel to be able to protest their meetings. That's how arrogant they are. And their arrogance is going to be noticeably diluted as well this year because, of course, as Alex Jones has broadcast, he has two sources inside Bilderberg feeding him information on the group's secret agenda. That's how he was able to phone up the uh, Westfields Marriott and book the hotel room, even though, you know, they say oh, there's no rooms available because he had the code word for the conference, which is the Palm Tree Conference. He got it from his Bilderberg source. So we expect there to be many more explosive bombshell revelations out of the upcoming Bilderberg 2012 conference at the end of this month. Once again, I invite all our viewers, of course, many of you will be watching this on YouTube, to subscribe at prisonplanet.tv. This is what funds the entire operation. If nobody subscribes, then you're not going to see this on YouTube. You're not going to see it anywhere. You're not going to see the kind of explosive guests and information that we bring to you here at InfoWars on a daily basis. So it's $5.95 a month, discounts for yearly subscriptions. We've kept the same prices, even lowered them, even though you know it's been in operation now for eight, nine years. All the Alex Jones radio show archives, all the nightly news archives, of course, live streaming of InfoWars nightly news when it first goes out. You'll see it before anybody on YouTube sees anything. Speeches, special events, rants, behind the scenes, exclusive insider material that you're not going to see anywhere else. And it supports this network. It supports everything we do. Um, and we need your subscriptions at prisonplanet.tv. I'm going to go to the quote of the day now, which is by Carol Quigley. The use of fiat money is more justifiable in financing a depression than financing a war. So again, not only do the elites make money during times of war, they also make money during times of boom and bust. We're going to go to a break now. Coming up after the break, I'm going to talk to Syrian girl, the outspoken anti-NATO activist about the situation not only in Syria, but also the Middle East as U.S. troops now officially present in Yemen. So we're going to go to that interview after this break on InfoWars Nightly News. Stay tuned. I really enjoy it when the globalists try to poison us and, uh, well, we resist them via a free market system. Hello, my fellow Info Warriors. Alex Jones here, introducing you to the Pro Pure family of gravity fed filters. Now, you know that the globalists are filling our water with radioactive isotopes, fluoride, lead, mercury, arsenic. And one of the few systems that can efficiently and economically remove or reduce down to non detectable levels these poisons are gravity fed filters. And Pro Pure is the top of the line. Their filters are impregnated with silver, a natural antibiotic. On top of that, they're bigger, so they filter faster. You don't have to prime these the first time you use them. It's amazing. Go to InfoWars.com and click on the shopping cart link uh, to see the entire family of these babies. Now, the fluoride they add to our water is so tiny that most filters can't cut it out. But ProPure has their system that will, again, reduce it to non-detectable levels, almost get all of it out of there. That's also available. And if you look at the different systems they offer, the ProPure big brush finish is on a stand, so it's easier on a table or at your restaurant or wherever you have it to go up with a glass or a mug and fill it up. Then there's this big baby right here, the ProPure King large version. Got a lot of different options that come with it. Also, they have the ProPure Big, probably one of the best values out there. And of course, it's burnished stainless steel. And then what I use on my RV, something that's great for your hunting cabin or the back porch is the Pro Pure Traveler. Small and portable, but packs a huge punch, cleans out all that garbage. They also have a glass sight spigot, so you don't have to take the top off and 
look in the bottom area to see how much water. You can see how fast it's filtering with this optional uh, system. The globalist obviously are hitting us through our water. It's time to take control of our lives. It's time to not give our children and families these poisons. And these systems cut it down to non-detectable levels across the board. ProPure is the name. I only promote what I believe in. And I use ProPure in my home and my office. And I recommend that you check out the information on ProPure at InfoWars.com. We already have the lowest price at InfoWars.com on the ProPure gravity filter system. But when you add in the 10% off when InfoWarriors use the product code WATER at InfoWars.com, nobody can top it. So again, it's a win-win-win. Stop drinking the poison water. Uh, checkmate the globalists when it comes to your health and support InfoWars.com and the work we're doing here. You know, many revolutionaries rob banks and things and kidnap people for funds. We promote in the free market the products we use that are about preparedness. That's how we fund this revolution against the New World Order in our move to restore our constitutional republic and a spirit of 1776 worldwide. Check it out at InfoWars.com. ProPure, top of the line, number one, most powerful and effective and economical gravity-fed water system in the world. ProPure, available, discounted at InfoWars.com. Don't forget product code, water to save 10%. It's the latest generation, years in development. ProPure is the name. We're back on InfoWars Nightly News, and I'm delighted to welcome now a prominent, outspoken activist against NATO's takeover in the Middle East, and of course, rising star of YouTube, it's Syrian Girl. Syrian Girl, welcome to the show. Hi, I'm glad to be here, Paul. Well, isn't it an amazing coincidence, uh, as we see, of course, the humanitarian crises developing in Libya and Syria, you know, the, the targets of NATO regime change. Meanwhile, over in Bahrain, people are getting put in prison camps for sending tweets critical of their government. People are getting, being killed in the country by Saudi troops. But don't worry, because the UN is holding a working group discussion about the matter. So, Syrian girl, tell us about events in Bahrain. Well, one prominent thing you notice about Bahrain is it's actually missing from the mainstream media a great deal. And uh, many people will not even know that Saudi Arabia invaded Bahrain to try to quell the uprising uh, over six months ago. And now, more recently, uh, Saudi Arabia has come up with a brilliant plan that will make, Saudi, uh, make Bahrain cease to exist as a country altogether. Um, in a part of a Saudi Arabia Bahrain unifi unification um, uh, proposal. So the people of Bahrain obviously are um, quite angry about this, and there's been some mass protests uh, across Bahrain. Um, and uh, it's uh, clearly uh, a breach of sovereignty. And, you know, there's been uh, human rights violations, of course. Um, I am not Bahraini. I don't really like to comment on people's internal politics, but in this case, it's, it's obvious that a foreign power has uh, invaded um, a country by the request of the Bahraini government. But in the first place, the Bahraini government was a puppet of Saudi Arabia. And uh, uh, one of the biggest crimes of Bahrain uh, that the government of Bahrain did against its people was the center square of Bahrain had a very um, symbolic, uh, uh, they called it the pearl, and it was a statue in the middle of the square, and people used that statue to, to rally around, and the uh, Bahrain government just uh, um, destroyed the whole symbol, the whole statue.